right, it's 2018, and right. we're back for bro opera. Welcome to 2018. That's what Joe just said. 2018. Well, we're back here. It's a it's a year. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a well rounded number of a year. I'm sure it can be multiplied several times into. By I think it, you know. I think it could probably also be divided. That by, too. I mean, it's by several numbers. I don't. What this is the worst opening we've ever had. <laughs> so uh, I think we're gonna make it a spooky New Year's and go to the Upper Cathedral Ward. Okay. Okay. Are we going to go... Does this mean we're going to get to fight another boss? The Celestial Emissary? If we make it. I, I might know. die. Because there's werewolves. And they're scary. Scare wolves? Scare wolves! Okay. So up oh, okay. the That's this way. Yeah, you got to go the direction we went to go get that umbilical cord way before... Well, we got to go up. Yeah. I don't have to make that stupid jump. I like that Amy's wearing a crown now. Yeah, I, it kind of fits. Especially with the yellow uh, clothing. Something about it just works. Yeah, it seems like we're some kind of roguish princess. I have to kill people. <laughs> I missed. That was kind of cool, though. The way you did that move. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was your New Year's gift. You got to shoot me in the face. Yeah, dude, right, yeah, right in the face. Hey, bullets! We'll need some of those. Hey. I must have. I have literally actually not even been in here yet because no, you these you've been in here. Them. I think. Oh, not maybe. in this room. No, I went right. down immediately. That's right. You went directly to the right. So yeah, I, I haven't actually even been up here. The chests remain unopened. This guy. I wish he could shoot his friend, like, because <laughs> he walked right in front of that bullet path. I just kind of want a wheelchair like that now, a wheelchair with a Gatling gun at the front. <laughs> <laughs> Atomic <laughs> Superman with freeway arm ramps for arms. <laughs> I just like the idea of like, uh, you start the Gatling gun and essentially like you put you if you could you know fire it forwards and it's a weapon, but then you turn it around and fire it backwards and it like is a rocket for your chair. Huh. Oh, I forgot oh. about you. The big big guy. I mean, you're probably really weak, but yeah, probably. I don't want to be on the ledge. Oh, I missed. Now, I don't think you really need to worry about getting this guy as a visceral. You're probably just killing him in a second anyway. See? <laughs> yeah, I kind of wanted to get that health back, though. Oh, right. Because you get health back from viscerals. See, this guy didn't get the upgraded model. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you did kill him, but he's just, like, dying on this fall the ground. No! Here's a ladder that you can climb. To get someplace new. Get someplace spooky. This is, uh... I mean, the the entire game is eerie, but this area up here is probably the one that unnerves me the most because it's, it's so dark, and the way that the enemies are kind of placed within it are just... They're just a little unsettling. Hmm. And, then it, and then it ends with, like, the weakest boss. Yeah, like, one of the... Simpler bosses in the game. Also, just although, I, although, although I will admit already that I have died several times to the Celestial Emissary before. Like, I'm that guy. <laughs> well, after last episode, I don't think it's going to surprise anybody. Well, I mean, Marta Lagarius is... Uh, <laughs> that's, Marta, that's probably about the meanest I've been so far to you. Marta Lagarius is actually regarded as being a difficult boss, though. Uh, I mean... I think he's probably regarded as, like, the fourth most difficult in the game. Um, Who do you people say is the most difficult? The Well, now it's the last boss in the DLC. Oh, well, he is, outside of the DLC, what would people usually say is the most probably difficult? Probably Abritus. Yeah? Yeah. I could see that. I think so. It's mainly because Abritus has a lot of moves that could end up being one-hit kills if you're not leveled enough. Um, well, I mean, that's kind of obvious, but... Like, if you're not leveled enough for any of the bosses, their stuff is one-hit kills. But you have to be, like, in a pretty substantially high level for... Oh, it's a Wandering Madness? No, it's uh, it's these, uh... They're, like, kind of leech things. They're, I think they're only up in this area. Well, they might be in... They're in the DLC, too. I don't think where else they might be. But the bridge is full of them here. Oh, boy. 
The bridge is lousy with them, you might say. Lousy with leeches? This place is very overgrown. Hey, these guys are coming to welcome me. Is that guy going to shoot ghosts at you again? Because you've got, you got a oh, lot of I do have a lot of, of insight. I never spent insight. it. I never spent it last time. <laughs> you have, yeah, you have a, you got five more insight, I think, for killing Santa. Oh, for the wrong guy. I was targeting the wrong guy. And you're getting ghost shot at you. Oh, well, good. That was really interesting. Because he, he, he hit me. And I think it did a little damage. Yeah, it did. And it, it actually almost killed me if you go back and replay it. Oh, did it? Yeah. That was actually really close to a death. But then because of the visceral and because of the extra health that I get from the rune for the visceral, I ended up with this much health left. That's not too bad. Ew, leech babies. Now these guys... Uh, if you, if they attack you, can actually cause friendly. Oh, that's not great. Frenzy is literally like just about the worst thing in this game. These little leeches. These guys are all over the shop. Yeah, I don't think I really need to kill them. Oh, great lake, that's good. I want that. Is that just more defense of some kind? Yeah, but it's the more. It's, I already have great lake. Equipped, but the the one that I just picked up is a more powerful version, so I really want that. That's the area we live in, the Great Lake area. Uh -huh. There's something down there. There's a lot of crows. I don't think we're killing them. <laughs> you turn around, just this, this army of little worm babies. Oh, frenzy cold one, that's not bad. Crawl! I think I can just dodge around everything now. Screw this and this giant mess of whatever it is. Hopefully oh, they just don't follow me up the stairs. Nothing to do with it. Oh, his scythe is all funky because I have so much insight. I really should have dumped some. Yeah, you'll need to remember to do that next time we're back. Oh, there you go. Not so bad when you visceral mobile. <laughs> Did he roll backwards down the stairs after that? Damn. You laid into that guy and he's still got more than half his health left. Oh, yeah. I hate that attack. Oh, that's the one that freezes you, isn't it? There we go. Man. When you start tearing I, I in, really hate... Th these guys are actually probably the reason that I find this area to be so tricky. Because if you get caught in that uh, st in that grab. Yeah, then they'll um, do the they, brain sucking move. Well, and there's the way that the iframes time out. They can actually just keep doing that to you, and you have like no chance to escape it. Ugh. Um, so it's a, it, that's actually probably what makes it a little unnerving being in here. Get out your little lantern. <laughs> that's just what you. There do. it is. Hey. <laughs> Why are his eyes blue? Because he's spooky. <laughs> That's it? There's no other reason? He's just a spooky werewolf? Alright. Okay, so... I'm going to walk down here a little bit. And oh, then aren't there like two the, wolves down here? There's like four. Yeah. And then they all, oh, they're come rushing. I thought they would be coming after me here. Maybe they didn't actually aggro me? I wonder if there's someone who plays through this game naming the character Xena, and then they go get the the crown in the middle and the, just their, their warrior princess. Oh, they didn't aggro. That's that was weird. a long way to a joke that had no payoff. Yeah, that was... That was too busy worrying if these guys had aggroed. And something died. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. You see me. Come on. I'd rather pull one of you, but I know that like all of you are going to pull at the same time. There's like no way to oh, it was a pebble. It's like, what'd you throw? <laughs> it was a very big pebble. Uh -huh. Got him. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I only got the one of him. Hey, he got you through the door. Blades of Mercy. Man, that's really cool. I also just love the like the way that like blood spurts just like 
pop up almost in random like you're moving so fast it looks like they pop up almost in random spots it's just like he's just exploding blood out of parts of his body okay okay yeah you did a whole two damage to his chipped a tooth or something yeah uh, those look fun <laughs> they are fun why are they throwing you shards all of a sudden on just these random dudes? Well, you can get up here much earlier. How I guess that's true. You get up here. I think you have to be just past Rom in order to be able to get up here. Okay, there should still be two more werewolves, I think. Maybe only one. I only see one. Yeah, I see that guy. I'm kind of amazed because usually they all pull at once. I got pretty lucky with this. You were being cautious. No, I mean, no matter how cautious I end up being, usually they all pull at the same time regardless. Ooh, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. The way he just kind of sidestepped in there, all you could see really was his okay, eyes. I need you to attack first here. Come on. Actually, well, I guess since I think you're going to be locked down here, I can fight you up here. I usually hide behind the door because usually when all three of them are here, it's really difficult to deal with them. I mean, you each drop you stone shards. So where there's one more somewhere hanging around? I think I thought that there was four, but I might be wrong. Maybe there maybe there are only three. That would be nice. But there's still regardless, there's still uh those brain suckers looking around. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks like all the werewolves are gone. Yay! Let's move on. Unless there's something upstairs you need to get? I You have to go upstairs. This is, uh... You have to... To unlock that, you have to go upstairs. I really hate these guys. Because you also have to go down this hallway where he's really likely to catch you with that grab. Well, should just wait for me to get close and then maybe, maybe stab maybe him could... from the back or something? Maybe I could poison him. Let's do that. Oh, he no, is he's right, right there. here now. I love these blades. That guy went down a lot faster than the one. Bur the the one in the the one previous. I had the blades not transformed. I had them oh. in this form, so that they don't do as much damage as quickly. Ah. Uh, it's through here. There should be another one. Down well, there's there. definitely a lot of notes. There's a guy over here. Yeah, they're going to pull a, uh, a Dark Souls here and have an enemy come from behind a corner. Yeah, see, he's right there. Because that, that doesn't happen nearly as much in this game, I feel. As they hide it. They, they tend to do it a little bit early, and then like every once in a while there'll be an enemy hiding around the corner, but I think I've seen it happen more to Ben and Burtis in their Dark Souls playthrough than we've had it happen They to do us. really like, love to do it in Dark Souls. It's... But Dark Souls, uh, I mean, you have a lot more defensive options than Dark Souls, so I think that's kind of why they lay off it in this game. I think that there's, there's another guy through there. There's another guy up that way. Uh, there's a lot of items that way. Yeah, I think they all end up being pretty worthless, though. But this guy's, I think if I let that guy sit, I think he's going to walk through here and aggro anyway. So I might want to... Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, Man. See, yeah, see, I really hate that grab. And he just, like, he was far away. Ugh. Cuh. <laughs> oh, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, look at this weird tentacle. It's like full of your brain juice. All right, there we go. Give us back our brain see, juice. See, that's why I don't like them is because they can spam that grab, and it's it's really dangerous. Yeah, you would only need to grab you twice to kill you. And like once you're in it, there's you can't do anything. Well, let's see what we earned for killing this guy. Blue elixir. Blue elixir. 
blindfold? Oh, blindfold cap. Cap. Oh, some more madman's knowledge. Some more madman's knowledge. Yeah, they're not knowledge. completely worthless. Oh, and now I get this. This is actually kind of a shortcut. So if one if one of the next guys does kill Pearl me, slug. I actually do get. Is that a it? chalice dungeon item? Uh, no. I think pearl slug might actually be a I feel arcane like, item. I don't know. I just wanted to make fun of chalice dungeons because we didn't do it last time. We were too busy getting our asses kicked. Yes. Well, I was getting my ass kicked. You were just being disappointed. My disappointment was kicking my ass. Kill him. Murder. Oh, there's another guy. Yeah, that's also why I hate this room, is that there's two of them. I do kind of like the way that animation goes, though. It looks like he's trying to blow you a kiss. Only he's not blowing you a kiss. Alright. All the shortcuts are open. Here's where we're going to get that uh, emote that we were talking about last video. The what? The one where that oh, guy... Oh, the, the guy. guy yeah, the, the guy. guy who summoned us. It may, yeah, maybe or maybe it wasn't. Make contact, that's what it is. See, the record will show that I said the name of it before I pulled it up. Sure. I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all that's up here in this one? Yeah, but there's a... Yeah, isn't the door downstairs? Yeah, it's a... Uh... I thought there was a lever somewhere. Oh no, I got the key from this enemy. Yeah, that's what it was. A, it was a key. Okay, so I gotta head back down. All right, I got through the spooky area. The spooky area, as you guys would call it. Not just us. It's a it's a popular term. Is it? Apparently, it is. Apparently. I had I hadn't heard it before. You guys were using it. Apparently, we didn't make it up, even though I thought we did. It literally means what we think, what we made it up to be, too. Something so, so scary, you poop yeah, your pants. It's so spooky, you poop your pants. Spooky. All right, friends. Oh, this is blood. where the lever is. I remember there was a lever. Just didn't know where it was. This is my shortcut. No, let's take you. That's this is back to the bridge. The the lantern's like right over there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, right. And then, uh, yeah, just the, like a little path around. Pretty yeah, much, and then the emissaries right are up here. There's one enemy up here, I think, before I get to the emissary. One little celestial baby. Mushroom man. Get out of here. See, like, <laughs> I'm gonna die to this guy. Yeah, if you keep running into his attacks. They look Die. Weird. <laughs> You're weird. All right. Uh, mm. <laughs> I actually, I'm actually nervous about this boss battle because I've died to it before, and it really sucks when you die to this one. Do uh, I was gonna say? Do we want a bold hunter's mark real quick and use the echoes? You know what? Yeah, just because of my track record. This would be funny if it loaded up like this the time after you killed her. That would have been really hilarious. Like, it loaded up and she was gone. I know that, like, she has to be around, though. Somewhere. She's up here. Whenever she's not there, she's here. Whose gravestone is that? Uh, it's speculated that's Germans. That would make sense. Because you find in the... Because in the real version of the workshop in the Cathedral Ward... Did I ask that question when we were here in the real workshop? I probably did. Just one level? Yeah. Um... because we'll want to be able to swing away with the blades. Yeah. Farewell, good hunter. Uh, <laughs> I, I only have 17 blood vials, apparently, so... Really? I guess, yeah, time to buy more blood vials. Oh, you got a whole bunch more there. That's good. Yeah, well, I managed to get through that area without dying. So, <laughs> that's that's an accomplishment <laughs> for me. Gonna be... I'm surprised that they don't have in this game is, like, a boss rush mode. You know, it's, uh... I think they actually have it in... They might have it in Dark Souls 3. Because, uh... That's kind of the most popular thing about this game, is the, is the boss battles. Yeah. And I'm surprised they just don't have a way for you to go and just fight the bosses. But you kind of need to be, like, leveled. Sure, but I mean, like, there's no reason you couldn't... That, that couldn't be, like, a, its own challenge. Like, boss rushes usually are in any game. 
I mean, even like the later Zeldas have. Huh. I forgot about you. The later Zeldas have boss rushes, and uh, some of those suffer from the same problem, where it's just like they has to give you a whole bunch of like level like extra hearts and stuff because later bosses are kind of tough. Well, but I mean, they, they only have to give you hearts in that. Like, you have to spec out your whole build here. They'd have to give you like a bunch of well, I mean, you blood can like goes to like pick what your build's in... gonna be. But I, that'd be fun. Like, you set up a build at the beginning of the boss rush, and maybe you get some experience to build up a little bit more between each thing. I guess that's just you know cutting out all the normal enemies of Bloodborne. But... Oh, I, I always forget that these are like fodder enemies and what I really need to do is find the one that's actually tied to the health of it. Oh yeah, is it one of these little guys and like you do quarter damage or something and it goes big? Okay. Maybe it's that one right there at the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Usually what I do is I let them come up the stairs at me. Cause then like they won't they won't spawn right in front of me. I wonder if I'm poisoned. Pretty cool. I don't see a meter going up of them though. It's, it's either that one or the one right behind you. <laughs> they are kind of cute the noise they make. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I like fighting. I like fighting him up here if I can. I don't know. Do you have any strats? Not really. I haven't faced this guy that all that many times. Another blocking on this is gonna be a good Yeah. See. I still managed to die to this guy. Yeah, because you're not trying. I suggest you that you pull, like, like, kind of pull him up on the stairs, and you don't. Well, he's slow. I, th I thought I was gonna, tr I was trying to kite the small enemies, like, to be up there, and then I was gonna run down and hit him, and then kite the small enemies again. Well, you have enough time to give him one more try, because he's not far away. Go beat his butt. The big big guy. Get them echoes. Seven hundred six. It's a lot more worth grabbing than the uh, forty from yeah. last episode. Cause that's another thing you can do too. Like they don't fall off the edge, so you can like literally like aggro them up around the edge, jump off, and then get a whole bunch of time without them next to you. Right, let's try that then. Come on, boys! We're going on a road trip. Oh, I can't get off the edge either. They crowded me there and I couldn't move. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Are you are you even trying? I couldn't jump off the edge there, the thing was in the way. <laughs> I was gonna try to jump off the edge. I feel like you've given up. Maybe a little. I died inside at the last boss fight. Okay. Apparently, we're gonna need to try this guy three times. How embarrassing. Oh, I'm bad at this. Oh, well, at least you do at least gain blood echoes from fighting this guy, because these guys give you blood echoes. So, yeah, can you jump off the edge here? Will it let you? Yeah. Look how they kind of just push you. Should transform now. I think you gotta get him a little bit further, because it's like it's like halfway, I think. Okay, you got him stuck yeah, in that I'm corner. It's unfortunately like you didn't get him stuck in that corner first. Hey, come on guys. We're going on a trip. <laughs> yeah, see, like, most of them just kind of follow you up here, and now you got- now they're gone. You'll have, like, at least 15 seconds before they even manage to get back to you.
I'd lead these guys away again. Yeah. I think he might do a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, I think. Following. Well, I think he's got. I think he's got range to attack. Too. Maybe not. But he is trying to follow me more now. Oh. oh I'm that stuck was somewhere. Yeah, that was kind of lame because his first foot attack shouldn't have hit you. I don't think. Oh, come on. That... Pfft, lame. Stay back, dude. We're here to just kill you real quick and... Whatever. Let's see if you're safe. <laughs> That's a good idea. Being safe. Oh, uh... Oh, now he's got... When he's got the thing out, that's when he, oh, he's, he's got range attack now, I think. <laughs> now he's got, a uh, Hair. Cool hairstyle, bro. Who does your styling? I got kind of confused what's happening there. I think you were attacking dudes around him or something. Oh, no. Ha. <laughs> oh. He's doing that attack again, though, so I gotta watch out. Yeah, and just keep moving, pretty much. There we yeah! go. Yeah! All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I would have been mad if we had to, like, go through another episode hey. just to get back to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the least underwhelmed Bloodborne victory in the history of Bloodborne. We beat a boss. Yay. Yay. We can progress further through the game. Yay. Congratulations for oh, watching no. us get further in bro operatives. Yay. Uh, I might have for another level. Uh, I'm going to be surprised. I think it's at over 25 now. Nope. Hey, it's just under, I guess. All right, so one more level today. What you gonna do? Oh, okay. Skill. <laughs> you sounded disappointed there too. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, maybe get some oh, more yeah, blood vials. More vials. Like five more, I think. I think it's more than that. <laughs> Two. Cool. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching us get through the Upper Cathedral Ward. Next time we're gonna... That was, uh, that was quite a bit more successful than we were trying to kill Santa Claus. It's, it's more, much more successful. What's next time? No, uh, I won't be doing a Breedus yet because I'm not I'm not level enough for her. So we're gonna so, go yeah, Mensis? Yeah, either the Nightmare Realm or the DLC. Oh, okay. Well, interesting times ahead of us. We'll catch you guys next time. I'm Bro Operatives. Bye!